gross I look. <laughs> We've had a very long day. We decided that we're going to start to paint today, so we're just going to paint the whole room. I think we're just going to start with the living room. We're just going to paint it all white. And then maybe tomorrow, once it's dried, we'll do the second coat in the actual white that it's going to be. And we've been deciding <laughs> between quite a few different coloured greens. You would be amazed how many greens there are in the world. I actually have a green on here. Um, excuse the washing machine. It's all going in this house right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll show you the green samples. And then I guess I'll just show you us cracking on um, and getting on with it. It's going to be crazy how quickly it transforms the room. At the minute, the walls are this like purpley colour. And I'm not very fond of it. I think it's pretty but it makes the room so dark because we're west facing so you don't actually get that much daylight through the day it's usually at the beginning and the end of the day that we get the sun um so it makes the whole house just feel quite dark through the day so i'm really hoping that the white will make it a bit brighter so here are the colors uh, we've got quite a few different ones uh, i think i'm leaning more towards this one we thought we preferred this one definitely not that top one it's too blue this is like a lime so not a fan <laughs> So yes, yeah, between these two guys, and then below here is the white that we're going to go with, so it's just going to completely brighten it up. This is a really yellow white, and the ceiling, ooh, <laughs> that's definitely a yellow. So I think that will just brighten the whole space up quite a lot. Each time I turn around, there's another hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> So we've done those ones, this one, there's one here, there's all the TV ones, this is the one we just did in front of the window, mental. They had so many pictures and hooks and things. This is the chaos of the house and that, that's the colours. I really think the bottom one, I like, I like this one but I just think that's going to be too mushy pea green and I'm not, I'm not a fan of mushy pea green I'm afraid. Ah, let me know below which one you think. We'll probably have decided by the time you reply, but hey. <laughs> so this bit is one of the things that's caused us the most headache. We didn't know really what to do with it. So I think we've sort of figured out that this is what used to be, or this room used to be the kitchen. And this is where the old, old, old oven used to be. And this is connected to the chimney, so all the oven, hot air and everything would just go straight up and out. And that's why it's not all the way down to the floor, because it's not a fireplace, it was an oven. Um, and so originally before we moved in we thought we'd turn it into a fireplace but then this is brick and so it's really solid so it's going to be a massive job. So to start with we've got this really thin like chipboard that we just want to line on the inside of it um, but we want to take these off and make it flat so it's like a nice finish. Take this shelf out and then just paint the same colour as the wall so it makes it look a little bit nicer and maybe ditch all the plants from inside it. Um, but we're going to start by taking these tiles off so it makes a nice edge. I hate these tiles, they're doing my head in because everything else is this off-white, then they're this bright white. <laughs> it just looks awful. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get cracking on that now. ceiling um, but we're just going to get cracking and try and just do this entire room tonight. It's dark so obviously it's going to look very yellow and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to just seeing this room white. I think it's going to look so much bigger and so much brighter and I think it'll do the beams justice too.
till I think it was about 11 <laughs> painting. We managed to get one coat on this entire room which is what we wanted and I'm really impressed with how well it's covered um, the purpley coloured walls and as you can see <laughs> I'm still not sure what colour to go with. It's a nightmare. Oh, I think I'm swaying more towards this one still but this one is really pretty. Oh gosh I don't know. But I'll show you a, an overview of the room. Also, this is the chaos that we're currently living with, so that's that's fun. <laughs> I can't believe how much it's brightened up this entire space. And now this is white, you can see how yellow this roof is. Oh, look at that. Yuck. <laughs> so that's the colour that used to be. And I just think that looks completely different. Just looks so much brighter. And we also painted this bottom part as well. And it looks so much better. So yeah, we've still got a lot of painting to do. And <laughs> um, we've got this entire room. Um, we've also got the kitchen and upstairs and the landing and blah 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 but I wanted to get that main room done first so yeah watch this space I'll keep updating today and see what we end up with and just to add to today's chaos I've got all of these Etsy orders to wrap there's so many we've been getting so many orders recently and that is fantastic it's just quite funny when you're in the middle of uh, renovating <laughs> trying to figure out where and how to wrap them all but I'll get there, I'll just give myself like two hours this morning to plod on through and wrap them all and we can get them sent off to all the lovely people so yeah, wish me luck, I feel like I'm in a bit of a battleground at the minute so <laughs> So they're all wrapped now, I'm ready to go It took me about an hour and 15 minutes so not quite as long as I thought I'm just boiling the kettle now for a much needed coffee and it might coax Dom out of bed He was up till really late last night sorting all the orders out um, yeah, I think the first thing I want to do today is go around all the skirting boards and the beams and give them a good clean uh, because they're quite dusty and I don't want it to mix in with the paint and make it go like a funky colour so that's going to be the first thing I do. I think it's really important and it's going to be so boring and take so long but it needs doing. So I've just cleaned this side, I don't know if you can see this side, Ugh, it's so gross. <laughs> Definitely needs a good clean. So. I've just got some hot soapy water. Ugh, yuck. <laughs> I've never had to hoover the ceiling before, so this is a bit of a first. But I've got this crevice tool on, so I'm hoping it's going to get rid of the cobwebs. It's not too bad, but I do know that when the cobwebs and dust mix with the paint, it makes it like a really dirty colour, and I don't want that because we want this ceiling to be as bright white as we can. So here goes. <laughs> surprisingly well I really am impressed with this hoover um, very expensive but I think worth the money especially when you're decorating and renovating and own a house that has beams I've always wanted a house that has beams and I never thought about all the cobwebs <laughs> so uh, yeah this is my new reality <laughs> so Dan's just filling in these little cracks in the beams so that they're all flat and it's gonna be quite time consuming I think with this is it cork 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 instead um the wood <laughs> the video of the guy in new zealand um we'll have to leave a link or something <laughs> that's funny okay if you know then you know and if not then we'll have to leave a link <laughs> this is the wood filler we were using before but as you can see it's uh quite a funny color and then it started to set and by the time don got to here it was completely hard in the tub so not quite what we were going for and then he just used filler out of a pot for this one but this is proven to be much, much faster. So 
just going along it with the the stick. I don't know what this is called. The gun. A corking gun. <laughs> corking gun. And then um, using the thing to smooth over it. I know all the technical terms, of course. But we're getting there, and I think it makes massive difference to how the beams look. Because they had little lines. These are false beams. The other room is the real beams. Yeah. Really happy with how it's coming on. We also very nearly had a disaster after spending so, so long trying to find the right colour green paint. We went to get the actual paint pot of the paint and they didn't actually have any in. And they didn't have any in any B&Q in this entire part of the country, uh, which was a bit of a dilemma. So Dom's mum's now really kindly gone to get us one from home base. So fingers crossed that all goes to plan and we can get these other walls painted green too because it would feel so... Oh, just so unjust unjustified. <laughs> just feel like an injustice, I guess. Um, if we weren't able to paint them green after so long of scratching our heads and trying to figure it out. So this is phase two of what we're doing to this oven fireplace thing that yeah, we said about yesterday. And so because we took those tiles off yesterday, it's left, you can see just here. Obviously it's like really bumpy and undulating. So just trying to flatten it out now. I should probably be using more of a plaster thing. This is just like meant to be wall filler, but Mm. It does the job, <laughs> so just making that a nice flat edge and then we're going to put this hardboard inside the hole, paint it, make it look nice, and then it should be looking really good. Good catch. <laughs> good catch. That looks so satisfying. Should give it a go. It's insane how much difference that makes. <laughs> That's a bit wobbly. Oh no. So I don't know if you can see how much paint I actually have on my face and in my hair. My arms is pretty bad. Look at that. Your arms is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going everywhere. Every time I do the roller, I'm like, face full of paint, face full of paint. <laughs> but it adds character I think. This is the first house that we've owned that we've been able to paint and decorate for ourselves so yeah it's just paint the van. Yeah we did we did paint the van so technically that was our first home. Home on wheels so this is a stationary home. <laughs> oh, I'm really really happy with it. I can't believe I ended up with a house of beams and so much character. What? It sounded like you said beans like baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well I have got some beans in the cupboard, but no, I really, really love it. And the difference that the dom, the dom, the difference that Dom has made with filling the beans in is incredible. Um, and we'll show you once he's done with the fireplace too. I think that's going to make a massive difference. This room already looks ten times bigger and ten times lighter. <laughs> Well that's going to be it for today's video, I really hope that you enjoyed this little vlog. I film lots and lots of random footage over lots of days and lots of hours so there will be another vlog coming up very soon where I actually show you the progress we've made because although this video was quite long not very much happened although I just wanted to keep it all in for memory's sake really and just because I think the transformation from it being that purple colour to the white was just amazing and I'm really excited to show you my green wall and to show you what green we actually chose in the end um, and then to show you me moving all the furniture and things in. I know I've kind of spoiled it a little bit by sharing little glimpses behind the scenes, you know, behind me and stuff, but I'm really looking forward to being able to share the process from beginning to end. So look forward to the next vlog because I'm really looking forward to editing it. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of my afternoon. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. It really does help to support this channel. Please leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought and what videos you want to see from me in the future. And thank you so, so much for all of your incredible support. I really hope you all have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye.